Hey guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today I made cheese pastries again. Um, a few days ago I made it with turkey slices and cheddar cheese and it went down so well so they insisted that I make it again. So this time I made it with the turkey slices but also added some halal bacon, bacon and some turkey rashers as well. So yeah, stay tuned and yeah, basically watch all over again how I made this. So again this time we're going to need two ready rolled puff pastry and these are from Asda, the Tesco ones are haram so yeah try to avoid that so yeah and we're going to need turkey slices which we've used before and this time I'm adding turkey rushes and we're going to be adding the streaky lamb bacon, bacon bacon oh. So I'm only going to be using half of the turkey rashers. I don't want it too meaty overpowering. So I'm just going to use half of that. And we're going to cut like cut this in four like we did the first time. And we're going to chop them up into little pieces and we're going to fry them up. So first we're going to cut the cheese up into slices. this thick we don't want it too thin so I've got tw um, 24 pieces here and I'm going to be using two on one one pastry so that's 12 pastries I'm making and we've got a few extra you can add it to whatever you want or you can just mix it up with them as well and guys if you wish you can use smoked cheddar cheese which is so good but I'm going to save that for cheese toast Um, yeah but you can use whatever cheese you like really and this one's going to be really really good next we're going to chop up into little pieces the making so roughly does it have to be accurate so we're going to just sprinkle them on top of the cheese or underneath i haven't decided yet I haven't planned it out in my head, I'm just going as I, I'm doing it as I go along. So yeah, like, like so. Now we're going to get half of the turkey rashers out. And we're going to cut them into three like so. Very, very fattening, guys, but you only live the once, so enjoy your food. And now, I'm gonna slice the turkey, turkey, slice the turkey slices up. Now, seeing as we're having so much fat, the cheese, the bacon, the rashes, we thought we'd, because it's not good for the heart, is it? So we, we, we're going to add about three garlic cloves and we're going to chop them up into, sorry about background, it's um, the washing machine is going on. Um, yeah, so garlic is good for the heart, so we're going to add that. Balance our food, I say. I know it's not the fat, the cheese, and everything's overpowering. The pastry it makes you feel better when you say it like that.
you can use um, garlic granules but I prefer to use the fresh from today and what you can also use is a bit of green chilies chop them up nice and finely to add that kick to your pastries shall I do that today I'll do it on a few of them not all of them it's gonna take the pastries to a different level so I'm gonna be only using three chilies three green chilies and yeah people usually add like um, red chili flakes but I don't think it gives that spice because it's not been fried or anything so it's not got that spice to it for me it doesn't make much of a difference apart from the looks wise now prep done now we get with the pastry so from each for pastry we're going to get six squares out of them we're gonna slice them through the middle and make sure they're all the same size Now what we're going to do is, for the base, we're going to put different sauces on. You can put tomato paste, whichever you like, whatever you like really, but I'm using my own sauces. So for about three of them, I'm going to be using, here it says, a creamy dipping sauce with mustard and barbecue notes. That is so, so good. So you're going to generously put enough in and for three of them I'm going to put um, peri peri sauce Nando's. Uh, my daughter she only has this she has no other sauce. There we go. And we're going to roast them all over. Oh gosh, before I started that, I should have fried up the making and the rashes, but not to worry, they can be done within what minutes. Now on these ones, I'm going to sprinkle the garlic on them and I'm not going to be putting garlic on the next batch this daughter of mine she loves the garlic I love it too and yes and the other two they're not so fond of it and on my ones I'm going to put the chilli one or two on hers as well on the next batch I'm going to use sriracha sauce 
and then I'm going to use a Maggie's hot sauce as well. We're now going to place the cheese like so overlapped. Damn, I've done a mistake. I should have put the turkey slices first. Not too worry, just lift them up a bit. And we're gonna put three on each. Now here we've heated a pan up and we're not going to be adding any oil because there's a lot of fat in the making. I'm not going to call it making, I'm going to call it bacon. It doesn't feel right. And we're going to fry them up until they become crispy. And on medium heat. Continually mix it because you don't want it to burn on one side and the other ones are still half cooked So it's important to have mix it all the time As you can see they're browned up now We're going to transfer them to a plate because we don't want to burn them and they're going to go crispier once they go a bit cold Now in the same fat from the bacon We're going to add the turkey rashes and we're going to fry them for a few seconds on each side Now what we're going to do is place two of the rashes on top And then we're going to sprinkle it with the bacon, like so. Now here in a small bowl, I've broken up an egg and I'm going to make egg wash with it. Mix it up properly and then we're going to brush that on top of the pastry when we've closed it up a bit. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is fold them up. No, no, oops, I forgot. Parsley. Oh, I almost forgot. So we're going to sprinkle some parsley on top of all of them. And now we can close them up. I'm going to go with another round with the parsley again. So. 
and to recognize whose is whose which sauce is which we're going to set them aside and we're going to have to actually do something for us to know which is which so these three are my daughters so i, may, I might make a um, mark with a knife on hers And I'm going to put tomato on mine. So we're going to brush them lightly with egg to get that shiny look. And on mine, I'm just going to like seal it with tomatoes so these three are mine and I'm gonna seal hers with a bit of mint leaves only so we know whose is whose there And again, we're going to sprinkle it with a bit more parsley. Well, I didn't rub hers, did I? <laughs> with egg wash. And they're now ready to bang in the oven, preheated oven, gas mac 180 for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending how powerful your oven is. They all vary. And yeah, or until you see it's risen and it's golden. These are looking really good. And it's going to look better after it comes out of the oven and taste even better. That's the second lot, guys. I put sriracha hot sauce on that and I put chipotle sauce on it. I'm going to wrap them up with. Um, Jalapenos And now guys we're gonna transfer them into a grease proof oven tray and if you haven't got the grease proof you can use the grease proof paper which I've used on my first batch it doesn't literally stick to that at all it just slides off
So gas mac 180 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye out. So guys, about 20 minutes later and our pastries are done. So we can turn them off. And they look amazing, they smell so good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Do give a like, share, subscribe and a comment. And until next time, bye.